visualized. Ah, you read my mind. I need a stiff one in me after that car ride. Why was I too fast for it, Morris? Never let a woman drive your Aston, Jonesy. This one handles a stick like it's got happies. Well, who knows with all the strange garages you park in. Hello, Dr. Venture. Yes, Quinn. Oh, like Miss Bollocks, Buster. If she won't take my name, maybe she'll take a smack in her smart mouth. Try me. Mom, are you and Horace quarreling again? No, Tara. Oh, hello, sunshine. Got your nose. <laughs> hey, oh! Take the Tara downstairs, would you? Go with the nice Chinaman turtle. Ahem. Where do we, uh... Excuse for wrinkles, Rusty. Pity your father also didn't teach you not to steal fertility items from irritable headhunters. Oh, that. <laughs> I, I've been researching alternative cures for impotence. Oh, not for me, of course. Not tried Viagra? It gives me my customers headaches, nausea, dyspepsia, and or diarrhea. But enough shop talk. Have you been? What are you doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, you know, curing cancer. Ah. Well, I'm trying, anyway. There have been a number of... Mother, is your friend all right? Yes, my darlings. Come and meet Dr. Venture. These are my daughters, Nancy and Drew. Hello, Dr. Venture. Pleased to meet you, sir. Ah, hello, ladies. Hello. So, children, your father must Come be. back. Finally caught that son of a bitch who's been sniffing around the campsite. Big old boy, too. Oh, Rusty, this is Ginny, my bodyguard and right-hand man, as it were. Oh, hello. I'm Dr. Skeet. Jim's yank, just like you. Oh, oh, Kim. Oh, oh, well, really should be getting... Oh, my God! 
charges. Carry. Oh, oh, are you sure you can't stay just a while longer, Rusty? Steady, you won't. Buy me a bye, boy. Please, please. Really excited about everything, too. Bing, Clyde! Say enough with that already, Hank. We're supposed to teach him boxing, not tricks. You ready, Dean? No. Rock, this is kind of the saddest thing ever. Hank, Clyde. Stop it, Hank. Get it, Dean. But your pop says we need the money, okay? Now, fight! <laughs> Bing, Cloyd! to rescue the little guy. Rigor. And, uh, First symptoms of malaria, I think. To reintroduce him to the wild. Slowly. In fact, hell, he looks ready to me. What do you think, Brock? Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, yeah, sure, sure, Dr. Venture. <laughs> See, feral instincts taking over already. He's cured. Take an objective duff. We have taken objective charge. Objective Charlie. We have taken Objective Edward. An objective butter. Fire in the hole. There, ammunition. Thank you. We have lost objective. You're thinking of Mommy Longlegs. Oh, I think she's tops of the pops. Mm, but Nancy has a fancy. <gasps> Fibber, I brought her CD first. Oh, did you hear the monarch and Dr. Girlfriend got married? And, like, Phantom Limb tried to blow them up. Don't know who they are. They know. Oh, is this the heroes I keep hearing about? No, no, they're bad guys. Yeah, and, and, and but Brock and I, we, we teamed up and stopped them. <laughs> yeah, it was tense. Box, huh? By the way, thanks for that new personal model. I like 
back to mix it up. Keep you on your toes. Speaking of which, new mission. Operation Do Rusty is solid. I need you to keep this Jimmy character distracted. Who? A bodyguard. What's his name? Uh, Jimmy? Yeah, him. So, you two are identical twins. Am I identical? Identically? Well, we just look what's right. Our own mom can't tell us apart. Sometimes. <laughs> It's the same way with us. Hey, uh, what do you girls do for fun? Oh, well, back home, we usually like to solve mysteries. Hey, hey, me too. Yeah, I'm more the adventurer type. Oh, we go on adventures as well. Like mummy, you know how it is. Mystery leads to museum, museum leads to mummy. And Bob's your uncle. There we are, right in the thick of it. <laughs> like adventurous? I think he's kind of got a thing for her, and well... Frankly, he's a bit of a wet blanket. The only wet blankets I'm interested in are the ones that... I know where this is going. You know, when we're sweating. Yes. Rolling around. Yes. When we're having... Okay, Doc, I get it. All right. Just making sure we're all on the same page here. Sex. Son of a friggin' bitch. Stay close. Natives are real suspicious of outsiders ever since that Ikea opened up down the river. Oh, the logging company that supplies the lumber for their billion bookcases has been trying to force them off their ancestral lands. Uwa Luga, Bobby Baba. He says it struck a game last night. We got a little wagon dog. The Wera Nile. Wera Nile? Local folk beach park. Half crocodile. Covered in awful hair. He says it tore the head off the mighty oh, warrior. Like and he says it was as if yeah, someone yeah, shook up a six-foot can of oh, blood yeah, soda yeah, and yeah, suddenly yeah, popped the top. Oh, shh. Today, it's an ordinary person. But when the moon is full and the werewolf spirit is displeased, it takes vengeance upon the tribe. He says it's... Your fault that you brought the wrath of the Weradile when you stole their idol. Nice. Take an objective, Charlie. We are losing Objective Charlie.
Halfway there. We have the upper hand. Stop it with that egghead crew. She's got a freckle on her nose. That's how you can tell them apart. Crip, help us. Play it cool, you know? You step to them with that line and they're gonna think you're some crazy, obsessed, weirdo stalker who, like, draws pictures of them in your notebook. They're friends of Venture Home News. The pictures increase circulation. Yeah, and they'll think you, like, talk to the pictures? And then you and then you cut it the lips and the eyes with, like, a razor blade? And then you write dirty words on them with your own poop and you rub them on your chest. What? Where did... See, yes, sir. Well, I'm not interested in playing it anything. I like them. I just don't like them like them. Well, I do. Which one? I don't know. Either one. Whatever. Just like Dean. He's got that hot little icky pop body, but with like a weezer sort of style. You little scammerjammer. I told you I like Dean. Go for Hank. Ew. No, I don't like Hank at all. I find him boring. You two just keep clear of those boys. You can have all your prissy little adventures or whatever with them. But if I catch y'all getting too adventurous, I'm in ten your eyes. Capiche? Yes, ma'am. Now come here, you buttons. Virginia, why do you hate men so much? Don't hate men, princess. Just never met a real one. Well, ain't you a pretty one. Oh, oh hey. Rock Samson, we weren't properly introduced. Virginia Dunn, how's it hanging? Oh, tough guy, huh? <laughs> what do you drive? 69 Charger. Substitute. Of course, all them horses under the hood ain't worth the damn in this rugged terrain without all wheel drive. Solid chest. Client suspension. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Moist heat. Grips you like a vice. Maybe, uh, go for a nice dip in the river? Skinny dip. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Oh, oh, he's off the gas there, Mustang Sally. Where I live, we drive on the other side of the road. What the hell? Taking objective oh, apples. Objective Charlie.
smoke. Huh. Honey, you're Rock. Really more exercise. Second hand. Well, me. you can't tell me this view wasn't worth the climb, but I want to show you something even more special. Yes. This is the entire reason I'm here. It's called Solomon's Heart. This valley is the only place on earth it can grow, but they only blossom on mature trees over 40 years old. You see how the seeds form a heart? I do. Now you know why it's so desperately important you protect this rainforest. Because heart? Because these seeds contain the antigens that can cure cancer and who knows what else. Loneliness. With further research, I could... Did you have say... Ow. No, oh, let me... I'm sorry. Ow. We should go. It's... It's getting dark, and I don't want, I want to. I don't want to get hurt. You won't. It's, that felt good, didn't it? It's not a good time. We, we have to get back to camp before moonrise. I, I'm sorry. Uh, shit, wait a minute. Wait, how do I feel? Oh, oh. for you. Appreciate that. I need ammo. We are losing objective Dove. We control all objectives. Jealous. Don't you worry, I could never replace you. But I have need 
things you simply aren't capable of fulfilling, Jenny. You just give it a chance, dear. A bear, I can be Dr. Gen Venture is a trained scientist. He can help me in ways you never could. Yeah, like out of your shorts. Virginia, you forget your place. My place? My place is watching out for your asses. Kindly remove your things from this hut and find lodging elsewhere. No. You can't remember this, Loma's fancy bridges. Just cause mommy and daddy didn't love you enough doesn't mean I'm gonna clean up after you every time you let a man make a mess of your life. Get out! Get out! You monster! Welcome to the stage of history retold. Welcome to the stage of history retold.
Welcome to the stage of history retold. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Cervantes. I'm ready to take you on. Rusty, would you like to come and play in my jungle fort? Cervantes. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of To Be. You'll die. Soul of Chang Hua. This'll be a pleasure. Silence and an invitation to madness. So, you want to fight? It's me. Why are you walking through the jungle backwards? I, I, I don't know. Look, I'd love to chat, but I really can't because I go. It's me. I saw the mystery of the Weradile. You have? Well, who? Not here. Come back to our heart. We'll show you everything. Uh -huh. After all, now if I could just find a way to bottle that ass, I'd be able to do that. Here, have some of this. What's the native potion to ward off the wear a dial? Where the heck? You said it'd be here. Don't worry. Just relax, and we'll show you everything. 
Annie. Anybody got a light for her? that the humans have left our forest. Where were you? Carve their souls into their swords. I was having Hydra eggs and finding one piece with Mark. Where were you? I was trying to scare off the humans and their animal bodyguards away from the forest. Unfortunately, they must have fought in the Clone Wars because Awookiee also tore me into pieces. Respect for the fallen who fought so bravely. Wait, did you say something about hanging out with the lasered man? 